rhinoceros is an uncertain beast, sometimes as placid as a milk cow. But it's reassuring to have your Winchester handy when he changes into two tons of armor-plated meanness. Nature has planted the world's greatest variety of game, the gaudy zebra, the graceful impala, the handsome Grant's gazelle, the suspicious congoni, and the sweet-tasting tommy, the glossy topi, and the hairy waterbuck, the grotesque warthog. The big cats. The dangerous Cape Buffalo. And the great African elephant, largest creature walking the earth today. There's an endless supply of game birds of every description. Some animals are completely protected and all hunting is closely regulated. But everything is here for the hunter and for Winchester, testing new products in the field under every sort of condition. This sportsman's wonderland is less than a day away from New York. Our Winchester Western team of six men flew to the heart of the big game country, Nairobi in Kenya. Our American hunter flew on to Tanganyika to pick up his game license and gun permits. David Amini, one of the top professional hunters of East Africa, was waiting. Incidentally, you'll hear and see a lot of Dave in the next year or two. Tom Lynott, one of Winchester Western's district managers, was to be the gun. As you probably know, he's one of America's top professional shooters. These two men were teamed up to test Winchester Western's new products on a five-week safari covering thousands of miles of East African hunting country. Meanwhile, the rest of our crew had moved across the great Serengeti Plain to our first campsite on the Grometi River near Ikoma. Everything was set up and ready when Tom and Dave arrived. With our crew of gun bearers, trackers, skinners, and camp hands, we had 51 people on safari. The first order of the day was sighting in. That's fine, Tom. It's two inches high at 12 o'clock. That's just how you want it. Let's leave it at that. Well, that's swell, Dave. That's just exactly where I wanted shooting. Higher, quiz up. Plenty. Well, let's button this sighting in up and go hunting. I'm all set. No, oh, hang on. It's midday now. It's much too early. How about telling me something about this new with the new Model 70 you're bragging about so much. Well, I'd be real pleased to do it because I think we've got a real swell new rifle here, Dave. We've got uh, several features here that are entirely different than the Model 70's had before. Uh, briefly, uh, we've got a new finish on the stock, new checkering. We've got a nice recoil pad on the Magnum-type rifle. You'll notice there's new sights on the gun. There's a high rear sight and a high front sight. So when you detach That's your... That's standard, is it? Now, this is standard on all the guns, on all the new Model 70s. When you detach your scope, you can shoot right over the top of the bridge-type mount. You can, your comb is high enough to accommodate it. Uh, here's something that's entirely new uh, in the Model 70 line. As you know, the free-floating type barrel is, is certainly the most accurate there is today. Yes. And the new Model 70 will, will have a free-floating barrel, as you can see how this stock is inlet here. Mm -hmm. Now, there's several other new features here. One important one is in the bolt. We got a uh, recessed bolt head this year, which is entirely new and different. You'll notice here that uh, the bolt head is recessed in here. Your ejector is right here in the recessed bolt, 
and this bolt head will take far more pressure than any type rifle of any rifle of this type has ever taken previously. You've got your gas uh, escape vent here on the bolt, just the same as you always had on a Model 70. And you've got another thing here that's new that I think is real good. Mm. You've got a uh, cap over the firing pin so that if you burst a shell and there's any gas comes back through the bolt, there's no way in the world of it escaping into the shooter's eye. And you've got this little indicator here on this new one. Your, your uh, firing pin does not protrude any longer like it did, but you've got this little indicator here. And I'll show you, I'll put this back in the rifle and fire it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's fired. Now, when the gun is cocked, you can see the red indicator, which indicates danger. When you fire the gun, mm -hmm. it disappears. So that's another new feature in it. All in all, it's a mighty fine rifle, and it certainly shoots like the old Model 70, and then some with this new free-floating barrel on it. Our first challenge for the new Model 70 was the Topi, a powerful husky antelope averaging 300 pounds of mighty good camp meat. Don't let those distances fool you. The average shot out here is in the neighborhood of 300 yards, and you really need a flat-shooting, hard-hitting cartridge like the new 264 Winchester Magnum to bowl them over. The topi is bigger than the biggest mule deer you'll ever see, and twice as tough to bring down. That 140-grain PowerPoint bullet really did the job. Performance test number one, and a good trophy head, too. A perfect one-shot kill at a measured 287 yards. You have to put a hard-working bullet in just the right spot with a zebra. If you wound him, the big, powerful beast will run all day. Here's a tough test for the new 300 Winchester Magnum and one of its great loads, the 180-grain PowerPoint cartridge. That 600-pound stallion will make a great rug. Watch his shoulder and you'll see the bullet hit. Chalk one up for a great new rifle and cartridge combination. We gave our new 22s plenty of workouts too. Tom and Dave were plinking with the Lieber Action Model 255 Magnum one day when a pair of Maasai warriors strolled up to look us over. Tom gave them a demonstration. You can always tell when a fellow hunter wants to try your gun. But how do you explain in Maasai that the 22 Magnum rimfire gives 35% more velocity and 50% more impact energy? That's right, you look through the scope. Don't let anybody tell you that the 22 Magnum isn't a real hunting cartridge. Dave used one on a 175-pound hyena that wandered into camp one night and really clobbered the beast. You can't shoot anything glamorous with a 22 in Africa, but these new Winchesters proved themselves as rugged, reliable, and accurate as their big brothers, the Model 70s. Next stop, Lol Kisali, and some fabulous bird shooting. When are you going to stop fiddling around with this new shotgun of yours, Tom? We go out and have some birds. Well, if we can go bird hunting today, I'll get through with them right quick. The new Model 1200 with high luster finish and handsome checkering. But the sleek, handsome receiver hides the big secret. The action works with double slide arms, has to be smooth. But here's the big change, the new front-locking rotary bolt. You know that every high-powered rifle has had the double-safe front-locking bolt for years. This is the first time it's ever been used in a shotgun. This new engine-turned bolt means more safety and longer life. Let's take a real close look at it. Notice the four rugged, heavy lugs? 
When the bolt enters the barrel extension, the bolt lugs rotate behind the barrel lugs, and that shell is in there tight and to stay. The head space will be constant for the life of the gun. No blowback ever. And with the shell between two strong elements, the completely rust-proof, high-strength aluminum alloy receiver acts only as a housing for this revolutionary new bolt. It locks like the door on a bank vault. The entire trigger assembly comes out as a unit for cleaning. The rest of the gun disassembles easily too. Barrels can be interchanged without factory fitting. I think they look very good, Tom. Let's go out and try them in the field now. Okay, Dave, give me a couple of minutes to put them back together again, and I'll meet you at the Land Rover. Fast flying sand grouse, one of the world's trickiest targets. Tom used his Model 101 over and under. Dave went to work with the Model 1200. Those Mark V shells really reach up there and get them. Watch the birds on the left. These are the new Super X and Super Speed compression formed plastic shells. Companions to the equally new polyformed plastic Ranger and Expert loads. All four brands feature the fabulous Mark V principle. But we don't have to tell you about the Mark Vs. You've already sold millions of them. All these great new shells from Winchester Western are completely waterproof. Although that certainly wasn't a problem on this trip, it didn't rain once in 33 days. There are a lot of other sales features too. Slick, scuff-proof tubes that feed smoothly through any type of shotgun action. Permanent load markings that won't rub off. Just look what you have working for you. A great line of Super X and Super Speed compression formed plastic shells. The strongest, safest, best performing long range shells in the world, plus Ranger and expert polyformed plastic field loads. Regular priced shells that match the premium loads of other manufacturers. And in addition, they have Mark V. Now Tom switches over to the fabulous new Winchester three shot automatic shotgun, the all new model 1400, featuring the same type of rotary bolt locking system you've just seen in the slide action model 1200. Watch it in action. This one has everything. High gloss stock finish, handsome checkering, perfect weight and balance, and with a reliable gas operated mechanism that functions smoothly and faultlessly with all types of loads. Low brass, high brass, and the most powerful two and three quarter inch magnums without any adjustment on the shooter's part. Best of all, others may talk about less recoil, but this one delivers. You won't find many birds that look like these in the States, but just imagine what these great new shotguns and ammunition will do on pheasant, quail, ducks, turkeys, doves, and all the other great American game birds. Been a long morning, but it's worth it. Yeah, that was quite a shoot we had there, boy. Those well, sand grouse are really something. Now, do you like the way those shells work? Very good indeed. Can I have a look at one of them? Have you got yeah, them? when I was sitting you? around the camp last night, I cut a couple of them open just to show you. I meant to do it last night. I got them here in my pocket. I just took this polyethylene tube here that this shell's made out of and cut it open here. You can see we've still got the Mark V feature here, which we had in the shell that we had last year, yes. and we've got the same wadding Mm -hmm. And all, of course, we've got a brass head, but we've got uh, quite a feature here. This polyethylene tube comes clear down and is a molded base wad. The whole thing is made in one unit. Actually, the shell is strong enough, Dave. Uh, you can shoot the shell without the brass head on it. It's, it's actually that strong. Really? They've developed quite a uh, new feature there that's going to be far safer than any shot shell that I've seen on the market. 
uh, particularly from a reloading standpoint, these reloaders shoot the base wad loose a lot of times. Now, this thing's never going to come loose the way it's, the way it's constructed here. It makes quite a shell out of it. Very You've good got indeed. Your new crimp on it and all, but boy, they sure reach out there and smear those sand grouse. From birds to beasts, and one of the toughest of East Africa's big five, the always dangerous, completely unpredictable Cape Buffalo. He's a great trophy, and just as fond of hunting hunters as hunters are of hunting him. The second from the left is the one they're after. Yep, he's dead. Well, that's swell. Well, he's not too bad ahead either. Pretty good. Big how, how big will he go? Oh, 38, 39. Oh, I bet he goes bigger than that. Here, yeah. dog on it. I just brought this along just in case. You know how to measure him. That's bad luck, I think, to carry these around. Oh. 38 in the shade. 38. Well, well that's not too doggone bad for a first buff. Well, old buddy, I hit him right where you told me to. Yes, you did, Tom. It was a very good shot indeed. Came right, right through and smashed both shoulders. Very good. Well, it sure let him down. Yes, that's the first, first of the big five which is being killed in Africa with the new Model 70, I think. Well, I'm sure Must glad be. I was the guy that had a chance to do it. Very good shooting. But he's a real trophy. Very good shooting indeed. And I'll call the boys. Well, go 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 on. Yes, it was a tremendous ending to a highly successful safari. And back in camp, Tom was greeted with a traditional kabubi celebration, always reserved for the triumphant hunter of any of Africa's big five. But while this safari may be over for Tom Lynott and David Omini, it's just beginning for you. Every Winchester Western salesman, every one of our distributors and their thousands of salesmen, and all of the tens of thousands of dealers who proudly sell Winchester and Western products will feel the effects for years. Yes, these are the greatest guns the finest ammunition in Winchester Western's long history. All of them, rim fire, center fire, and shot shell ammunition, the new 22 Magnums, the great new Model 70s, the dependable new Model 1200 slide action shotgun, and the excitingly new Model 1400 automatic shotgun have been tested and proved on the world's toughest proving grounds, the East African Safari. Perhaps the highest praise of all came from our professional hunter, David Omini, when he stated, I think your new products are smashing. <laughs>